In this video, you will learn how to create a curved bottom navigation in Flutter. So let me show you a demo first. Open the app. You will see here a bottom navigation with curved shape. You are on the first tab. Click on tab 2. You will see here the content will change also. Click on tab 3. Click on tab 4. Click on tab 5. You will see here it shows the index of each tab. So let's start coding. Hello everyone. Welcome to our channel. First, go to the pubspec.yaml file. Insert the curved navigation bar package. Click on pop get to get the package in our project. Once it's done, go to the home page. Inside the home page file, we just have a home page class that extends from a stateless widget. Import the curved navigation bar package at the top of your file. Inside the built method, we just return the scaffold. Inside the scaffold, we have bottom navigation bar property. Create a curved navigation bar widget. Set the background color to transparent. Set the button background color to colors.green set the color to colors.green we have an animation duration when changing the bottom navigation item and set to 300 milliseconds create a list of widgets and assign it to the items property create an icon widget set the home icon set the size to 26 set the color to colors.white create another icon for message create another icon for adding an item create another icon for not notifications and create another icon for profile save the file and run it to see the changes you will see here a curved bottom navigation bar with animation let's show a dynamic content for each of bottom navigation item inside curved navigation bar widget we have on tab property let's change the stateless widget to a stateful widget inside the on tab function we can call set state to change the state of widget declare and initialize a variable for index and set to zero assign the index to page variable inside body create a center widget then create a text widget and choose the page index inside the text widget create a text style widget set the font size to 100 and set the font width to bold save the file and run it to see the changes now you can see the page index click on another tab you can see the page index will change thanks for watching if you want to support us hit the like like button and if you have any questions let us know in the comment below